Hey folks, Quilly Team here to welcome to another episode of What the Factorial? In between this episode and the previous episode, I went and took care of a few bookkeeping things. Um, I went ahead and like replaced a lot of things with red belts to make sure iron processes are going smoothly. In fact, we got a 100% backlog over here, which is great. I've also gone and asserted uh, myself a little bit on the landscape. I suppose I can get rid of some of these wall markers over here. I was making some plots and plans to go and try to uh, figure out where I want to go and defend things. Um, I do eventually want to go and expand this wall out this way, but these are some pretty difficult clusters right over here. I might want to go and blop this one. I don't know if it's getting much in the way of pollution. I think every now and again a little bit of a tick, so I think our walls are going to go okay. Um, I don't like this little notch here, but this is full of giant worms that I don't... Uh, turns out I couldn't really tackle. So we see how these goes. You can see how th these things are getting tickled by pollution as well. So uh, I've gone ahead and all the places where I think the walls are going to be more or less long term or some of the places that are a bit more of a danger, I've double walled them. Uh, this is very temporary over here. So I just left it with a single, 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 um, double walled here. I do intend to push out over here, maybe, probably to get this stuff. Although short term might just be something like extend this this way and then this way. We still get the crontium crotium over here, which would be quite good. We might make a little loop around the sapphire or something of that nature. Uh, I went ahead and walled all this off over here. Good number of guns. Probably some sort of wall over here for some material. Um, short term, I might just go and cut across here, though, which I think might be a little bit more manageable. This nest is definitely being aggroed a lot. I have to do something about it. Uh, but the first thing I want to do in this video, and I mean, while popping nests and building walls aren't necessarily most exciting, there's some risk, so it might be okay. I think what I'm going to do is I want this whole peninsula to be 100% clear and safe, and I don't know if we're necessarily going to intend to build over here, but at least we don't have to worry about it. So I'm going to probably go and extend this wall to this lake, pin in that little area there, and clear out um, probably four nests, although clearly there's some pretty big stuff over here. Yeah, you can see these guys keep getting attacked. I think, actually... I have to prioritize popping that. I got tons of bullets, tons of walls, tons of Mark II turrets. Maybe not like infinite amounts of Mark II turrets, but a good number of them. I could grab another stack of Mark I turrets. And then if I were to go and just pick up a bunch of the backlogged steel, not that I have a ton of it, I can fabricate a few more and that might not be a terrible idea. I got my bots. I got bullets. Yeah, I think I can roam down there. I've got my body armor is only about halfway up, but it's still there. I don't think it gets you less protection as it goes down down i don't know i think it's just you run out of durability and you have to build another one i'm hoping i don't have to build another heavy one you can see here obviously um we get the occasional attack down here so yeah i think pushing that out would be good you can see these things are slightly damaged as well uh let me go to actually i'm going to keep it on my nano emitters here so that we can auto repair our front line i'll see if i can i guess i didn't need to use the nanobots for this but that's okay i will leave those whoa here for now <clears throat> running away letting the guns take care of things Okay, let's scrooge for it a little bit more. Now, I'm assuming it's mostly this nest that's mad. Put you down there. Good, just out of aggro range. And then creep up to here, which is inside aggro range. Um, kill this first wave. I'm going to see if I drop you there. Oh my god, that's not a good time to autosave. Now, there is a mod that will automatically, when you plop down things like guns, fill them with bullets. And I should really go looking for that. Because, oh my god, I'm about to die. Wow. All right, that's a lot more big uh, worms than I expected. <clears throat> and we're going to lose some of these guys. I was going to say... Uh, right, mods that let you plop down um, guns full of ammo right from your inventory. Save you a little bit of micro-clicking, which I'm quite bad at. My PM is not that good. I'm going to get my corpse. It should be okay. It should be grabbable, I think. Um... And um, it basically will make putting down regular guns fill a similar t role to how I play with laser turrets. Now, where is my actual corpse? Way down there. Can I get it without dying? Because I'm not going to have any body armor. Oh, shit. It takes forever to grab. But I am out of combat range, so that's good. As long as the worms can't shoot me here. So we may have to accept that I might not be possible to clear this right now. I may have to come back with, like, a tank or something to get it done. Loot! Thank you. Uh, I'm just going to go and drop the pistol. Um, put you here. Put you here. Drop you. And just put everything back the way it was. Excellent. Um, I'd like to get rid of more of the spawners. Even if I can't do the worms.
repair, repair, repair by hand to accelerate things. Stop hitting me directly! Target the guns! Now then, don't kill the guns. There we go. Okay, well that one went, but as long as I can tank one up, we should be okay. Actually, I don't know if they're shooting the worms. I don't think they are. But the worms are aggroed on them, so if I put you there and then do that, and then make sure these guys stay repaired, I may have to alternate a bit. At least I've got my bots to help a little bit. I think we just took down one. Put you down there. Put another clump of weapons in there. Make sure these things keep getting topped off. All right, I think, I think we're doing it. Creep forward. Bullets. Okay, I think there's only a, a relatively small worm left. It might literally be called small worm. Okay. Wow. Okay, well, we died, but then we bounced back. I did not realize, and I mean, I could have looked a little bit more, but I did not think there was going to be so many big, giant worms of doom. Let's go and pick up all these turrets. Okay. These guys are getting polluted, but nothing else is, I think, here. It's probably worth... I don't know if I want to push down here to build that wall, but I think I might build a wall around here and then do this. Just to stop the occasional straggler. I don't think we're going to get big giant waves. And we might end up moving this wall later. Or, I mean, we might decide to leave it in here and just build another wall past it. Am I seriously lined up with that electric pole? No, I'm not. Good. Thank you. Um, do that. I think we used to have a radar here and it got smashed. Let me put that down there. And um, let me go and make sure i got a couple of guns back here. I don't know if I need one literally right at the end. Although, you know what it makes me think of is that one uh, fort, that one castle by the sea in uh, Game of Thrones on the wall. You know what I'm talking about. Exactly. Uh, I'm going to go with half stacks in here just because I don't think these are going to get engaged that often. And we actually don't have very many bullets left. I had a bunch of bullets and then they were used to clear nest. Um, just building the wall might not make sense because the, it might just get blown up some part of it, but probably not that much. Someone might just cut a part through to go and aggro on the rest of my base again. Um, at worst case scenario, we lose a few pieces of wall, but I have a million wall in my inventory. Oops, that does not work. Uh, and yeah, I'm just going to go and get you to meet up. Kind of over here. And this wall definitely doesn't represent all the territory I'm going to want to claim. But it'll do for now. You see these turrets are having a little bit of a bad time. Uh, I could just wall this in completely. And I may, in fact, just want to do that. Obviously, this bus is going to have to continue, but short term. I mean, I'm going to go blow those guys up. But let's go ahead and just seal this in here. So that in the short term, we've got a bit of cover. Let me grab some of my personal bullets. All my personal bullets, we're going to go ahead and do that. Um, let me go. You know what I could do? Is I could actually just build a wall and then plan on getting some undergrounds. So that we've got like a sort of layered defense thing. It's not going to matter later when we clear a few more things. But what the hell, right? All right, let's go get some more bullets. I can't believe we went through our bullets that fast. These are all the type 1 turrets. Right, because I big grabbed that big stack. Hopefully there's tons of bullets in there. This has all been upgraded to uh, to red bits. There's probably still going to be some empty things. No, there's no these. There's no red dots over here. So these are producing as quickly as they possibly can. A thousand bullets. All right. So, um, again, short term we're probably going to look to wall from here to here. We do have to clear four nests for sure. Let's see what we can do here and hopefully not die too much. Um, what kind of worms are these? Small, medium. All right, that should be all right. I'm bothered. Uh, we will switch to our nanobots so that we get auto repairs and things. Get you in there. And I'm willing to bet you aggro over here. Indeed. Probably should have put a pair of turrets down, actually. So I will do that. Lift that. I will help out with repairs if need be. No, nope, 2% so we're okay. Good. Um, if I go here and here... Ooh, that's within range of that worm. And that one is too. Hmm. 
I think no matter what, there's going to be a lot of worms in range here. Okay. I'm going to do that. I'm going to run back to drop aggro. Um, and then do this. And hopefully... I don't really care so much if the turret dies. All these Mark II's are fairly expensive. It's mostly the fact that they're supposed to be full of bullets. And that would suck to lose them. Um, do I not have any bullets in there? Oh, right, because I picked up the empty ones. Half, half, half. And repair... Okay, good. I mean, the fact that these things take 200 bullets per means that 1,000 bullets really, like, don't, don't fill up a lot of guns. Although we don't actually fire that many to clear these things. Well, sometimes we do. Okay, pick you up. I think we've grabbed everything back here. There's just you. You're finishing things up. You're going to get repaired. I'm going to pick up all these little bits and blobs. Well, I mean, we're going to leave some behind because it's kind of tedious. I can just go and box select to clear, but... Okay, we are going to have to clear this, and then, yeah, I'm going to build a little... I'm going to use the lake as a natural wall. Just connect that up real quick. Uh, we better go and get more bullets. Not that I think there's a whole heck of a lot waiting for me. Bullets over here, yeah. But... We clearly need a little bit more. The other thing you can do is dismantle some of these guns. Like this area over here, I think I actually will go and do that. Because they shouldn't get attacked once we clear that area. And that'll give me a little bit more ammo to work with. Not a ton! With some yellow bullets too, I actually could have dropped them in the gun, the, um, the bullet production line over there. Okay, where are you, you punks? Right over here somewhere. There you are. Don't want to die twice in one episode. I'm happy we can just continue now. It's not like, oh, when was my latest, latest it autosave? Because this means you don't need, like, an autosave on, like, a one like or two-minute timer to not be completely frustrated. Okay, fill you up. That should be okay. Do this. Move forward. Put some things within range of the things. Fill you up. Run away before they kill me. Now you're going to aggro on the turrets. I will try to keep them protected. And success. So much easier with laser beams and freaking robots. But not too shabby anyway. This nest was a little bit easier. I think there was there were less worms, but I also think my technique was maybe a little bit better on this one. Okay. So that's enough. There's still a nest up there, but that's enough for me to go and at least get this wall up. And again, we could even, there's no reason, unless they're getting in the way of construction, there's no reason I can't just leave these walls up as a, you know, neat looking layered defense thing, as long as it's got enough gates and it's not getting in my way. I'll probably have to extend from down here and go away trees. Boom. Okay. Um, and it means, and again, while I could leave the walls up, although I probably won't here, it means I can get these guns back. And some of the guns that are internal to our structure, I might leave some just, you know, as a just in case, but we really won't need them. Let me go and grab this guy as well. There you go. I'll worry about deconstructing the rest of the wall later. But for now, what we're going to do is we're just going to get just loosely overlapping. Just at the absolute limit of overlap. Which is always a nice little safety. And I think 100 bullets is going to be more than what we're going to need over here. I still think I'm going to have to clear one more pack uh, outside this wall. Because it's, I think, getting hit by pollution. And we don't want, like, non-stop swarms. Because we'll run out of bullets or things will just die to attrition. And right there. Good. Maybe I'll put a little gate here. How many bullets does that leave me with? Quite a bit, actually. Um, yeah, see this? Maybe even this one, but clearly this one. I should probably go, though, and get the one behind us, because they could run right into our soft underbelly at this point. There's some running over here. I think they go into the mines, which have guns. But again, I can go and, like, basically remove those guns and say, oh, that's aggroing for quite a bit further away than I expected. Happy I put down two. I was like, why did I put down two? Turns out there was a good reason for it. No, oh, there are some worms. Not a ton. Still got repairs, still got bots. Get out of range of the worms. Plop down a bunch of bullets, then help out with the repairs. Good. I think there was just two small worms, so really not much of a threat. Boom. I should be like 
learning hotkeys for like placing these a little faster, but that's okay. All right. Now, assuming there are no respawns, uh, I mean, I know it can respawn, but this is an area that's got like radar coverage and everything. Actually, I don't know if it's literally got radar coverage this far away. Um, it does here, but what I think I'm going to do is I will put one radar right over here. And I'm going to put a couple of guns over here with lots of ammo, just in case. And I'm, again, I don't know all the mechanic for like how these, um, what the spawn rules are, but I hereby claim this area in the name of I built the radar, so screw you. I'm just going to run some power along the wall. And I think I'm just going to keep going straight here because we're going to have some sort of base somewhere. Come on, bots. Clear my way. Thank you. Come on. Where's my stuff? Yeah, I'm just going to go straight. And ideally, uh, it's not going to quite reach, but that's going to be okay. Now what's getting blown up? Oh. Oh. Just some random power poles that I had out here for, I think, a radar connection at some point. Oh, and here we are actually being attacked. That one's fine now. Um, these bases are being hit by pollution. This little one is fairly consistently under it. This one's occasionally and over there. We'll at least have to clear out to there to make some more space. I can get this material back. Again, the, the primary thing that's important to get back is bullets. Um, although I could actually use some, some guns too now, which mostly because I have the Mark I guns and what are you shy on? Oh, you're shy on these bullets here. We may have to see about doing something like that. Uh, one, two, three, four of the Mark II turrets over there. And I mean, we have some bullet or some, yeah, some bullets. I'm going to go and put you in there as well. Keep that going. I think overall we're okay. I think it's going to be fine. So that's done. Uh, oh, I should probably go and just section that off, especially to protect my little um, radar and whatnot. Because our peninsula here is not actually completely isolated yet. Go, go, bots. Okay, I could stop being lazy a bit. I know it's hard to imagine, but every now and again, I should probably not be completely lazy. Probably put two guns over there, just again for the overlapping effect. We'll go outside here, because fewer trees to deal with. And yeah, if we can just plug that hole. Oops. Um, I'm actually not sure if there's a little crossing point over there. I may need to double check that. I know we haven't been doing research in a while, but that's okay. I kind of wanted to pause things so that I could start to like figure out the things that I've got. And then advance again after that. Figure out what I've got and secure what I've got. There you go. Pair of guns. Lots of bullets in both. Boom. I don't think so. I can check because of the uh, the reach thing that I've got. No, there's no crossing over there. Okay, good. So yeah, so this... Our base is actually literally completely enclosed now for the first time all game. However, it's still being threatened in a lot of places and will eventually get picked apart if we don't push back. I don't know there's some pollution over here. I don't know how secure I feel taking this base on, but we might be able to at least trim off a few of the spawners. Even if we can't clear all of the worms. Even if we just... Like, we might even be able to push it back far enough that it's not going to be in pollution range anymore. Seems a little unlikely. But it might be possible. Help to repair. Some bullets in there. Maybe, maybe. Come on. And then repair, repair, repair faster. I don't think we're hitting that big worm. Let's go into the north here. Drop that. Run away to break aggro. Drop bullets. And over here, do that. Drop bullets.
Okay. No, we're doing all right. Um, I think there's just one spawner left over here, and that's it, huh? Excellent! Okay, this is working a lot better than I was afraid it would. I'm just so used to clearing everything with, um, uh, with the laser turrets and regular bots. I mean, if we had laser turrets, the nanobots would be fine, but laser turrets are going to require a lot of oil-based technology, which I'm still terrified about. Okay, that's good. You're out of pollution range. You should be okay. So we clearly have to get rid of this nest, too. So, I mean, and, and I apologize, you know, this is the entire episode, but... I gotta do it. I did clear a bunch of stuff in between apps, and I didn't want to go too far here. Get that going. It is nice that you can just sort of click and drag across things. You don't have to click on each individual element. Um, and that includes, like, control, right-clicking to put half, half stacks. Because there's no reason anything's going to need 200 bullets in this. do that run away so I don't die now fill these with bullets and hopefully they won't die oops I'm removing the things instead of filling them with bullets control click whoo man oh man that is tense but we are done another very dangerous nest. So still, there's a wall there, yeah. Um, now down there is going to be the next target. Um, and not everything has guns over here, which I'm going to set up next. Uh, I don't need quite as many over here anymore, though. So we got that. Let me put just a little uh, gate in there. There we go. I'll leave you guys in here, and we'll go for like the single overlapping kind of thing. This is definitely not an example of, of a long-term wall, because it's going to interfere with our bus. But clearly, it's a wall we need now. You go there. And do that. And do that. I think the mod that, like fills things, even fills... I was going to say assemblers, but I guess this doesn't make sense, because it wouldn't have the blueprint right away. There's something else that it can kind of fill like that. It might, in the end, actually be assemblers if you're, like, putting it down to a blueprint and you happen to have some of the materials in your hand just to, like, accelerate things. But, I mean, there wouldn't be much value in that. I'm sure it does more than just the guns. I just don't remember what the other thing is. Oh, maybe vehicles. I think that's what it does. I think it automatically puts, like, fuel in your vehicles for you. Like, if you've got coal. Uh, I am out of stuff. Although, oh, there we go. Right, that's when, when I cleared the nest. So, if I do this, and load you with guns, good. Okay, so that is secured. We do need to go and clear nests still. How many bullets do I have? Not enough to do a clearing, so we're not going to do that. Um, you are damaged. If I put you down, though, it'll get repaired. Um, what am I looking for? I'm looking for a gate. Like that. Okay. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a cut in here, and I will go and clear that nest to the south. Um, and anything else I feel is vaguely within pollution range. And then we're going to go back to to just building. It is nice that, you know, we got the tracks. Next thing I'm going to do is set up the um, the inserter assembly, which is going to be, yeah, I think, pretty easy. I think it's going to be very similar to this. And again, it looks like you, we might be able to follow some of our basic blueprints. Some of the inputs are different, but the basic like blueprints for creating some of this stuff would be good. Um, I may want to start doing some research again. I honestly, I don't know. Still kind of need a mall, probably. This can all go, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This can all go. Just a mall for convenience, like a place that builds, like, you know, a little of everything. It's not going to necessarily produce anything at a fast rate, but it's going to be a one-stop shop to pick up absolutely everything you want. We may still need, like, much faster gun production. But I think, like, really the next thing is going to be... Where I think we need to get our oil tech going on for our next science. Although we still have tons of blue and red science we can do. So, I don't know. This terrifies me, by the way. The very fact that this flare stack exists to burn off excess chemical... Fucking terrifying. What is this that still needs red? Oh, or silos. It's mod I added for a thing, which presumably... 
I don't know. I just saw the angels went in it. I assume it's probably just like a warehouse, but maybe only for ore or something. So anyway, here, I'll do it. It's going to take two seconds to do. But yeah, I'll probably start to advance some of the science again. Um, with the idea, gas processing, that's probably it. We're going to go and unlock thing, oil, steam cracking, things that look very v vaguely petrochemically with the plan that I'm sure we need oil of some nature at some point. I don't know. I'm like little stupid boxes here of extra like colored bits and bobs that aren't really being grouped up right now, but that's okay. Um, yeah, I don't know. So yes, I will go and clear uh, these nests here. I don't know if I'll, I might clear these too, but I don't think they'd spawn very quickly and we'd have guns. Um, the pollution isn't reaching this one, although there's a lot of critters roaming around there, so it has me a little concerned. Certainly reaches here. These are going to be tough nests to crack, but it probably needs to be done unless I just want to line this wall with, like, infinite guns um, as a short-term solution. This one may or may not get hit. This is still being hit. That is so many big worms. Piercing and everything. They're super dangerous. I wonder, do we have... Um, we don't have tanks, right? I mean, storage tanks, but that's it. When do we get... We need to be able to do explosives and stuff. Robotic attack drones, tanks. Yeah, we need more tech than we currently do. I mean, we can build cars, but that's not really going to help things. There might be some other sort of long-range tool. I don't think a flamethrower would help there. Although, can I set fire to the vague area and then run away? Are there combat bots I can use? There may be some possibilities there. Still don't know what nodules are. We can get higher tier boilers but we need invar plates and brass pipes which you're not making paste processing cellulose paste which is wood and zinc ore leads to zinc paste terrifies me that this is a thing oh chemical processing i guess we may as well unlock this there, there's our chemical plant for example and the steel chemical furnace also this will lead us to oh armored railroads nifty yeah and i Again, kind of terrified that this is a thing that might need to exist. But we might actually be able to use it as, like, a mobile platform to, like, use bots to, like, run rail right up to a base of critters, run the rail car up there, and then just, like, use that to, like, blow everything up. Either with, like... I don't know if you can mount guns on rail cars. I haven't looked yet, as far as I know. I don't think I've peeked around through that. Um, but at the very least, I can stay in the train while I plop down turrets around me or something like that. So, we'll see. Anyway, yeah, I can clear up more territory over here because we don't need that. Power is still, like, 100% good. We're really not using that much power. We're burning a lot of coal for, like, all of our smelting processes. Um, the other thing is... Yeah, see, this keeps getting tickled here. I definitely have to do something. Um, is our sapphire mine over here is slowly starting to run dry. We're backed up right now because we're not using any uh, iron plates. But if we you are using iron plates, that's not enough. And you can see here we're running out of some of the material here, too. So... Uh, we'll do that. And once this area is clear, this is going to become, um... Is that right? Quite a crushing question mark. Yeah, we're still crushing it. We need, um, iron sorting and copper sorting over here is what we're going to need to do in some sort of fashion. I'll put a note. Uh, maybe copper sorting... Iron sorting, probably the copper sorting will have to be a little bit higher just to make give us the room, but it'll be something like that. Because I think we're crushing everything we need to run it through sorters to get more efficient this stuff. But we don't we didn't we weren't desperate for like super efficiency at it yet. Because we've got we just needed to get some material so that we can make this stuff finally. And yeah, if we can get the inserters and stuff automated, that's good. But yeah, in between episodes, I'm gonna have to do some more alien killing. But at least we have a defended base now, and that's not nothing. Thanks for watching. See you next time.